Hey there, I'm Max, and last month I helped generate over $9 million just from email marketing for my e-commerce brand partners. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's course on how to set up email marketing for your e-commerce store and doing a deep dive into Klaviyo as the email marketing platform. Whether you're launching a new store and just getting started or you're scaling an existing store, email marketing is an absolute non-negotiable. It is your retention engine, it is your silent salesman, and it's your highest ROI marketing channel. Email marketing is pennies compared to Facebook ads. In email marketing, you get a target people who already know, like, and trust you. That's why it is the highest ROI platform on the planet. Now in the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started with Klaviyo email marketing, which is the go-to platform for e-commerce email marketing, and how to set it up the right way. Now, why should you really be focusing on email in 2025 and 2026? I see brands that spend six figure a month on ads, but still struggle to make a profit. Why is that? It is because they are neglecting their back end, which is with email and SMS which is how you educate wary site visitors into actual buyers, and it's how you turn one-time buyers into multi-time buyers. And the brands that we're working with are generating an average of 30 to 50% of their total e-commerce revenue just from the email channel. And if your email channel isn't doing at least 20%, then you're leaving some revenue on the table because this stuff scales. So let's just zoom out a second. Imagine you're a skincare brand and this person has seen so many skincare brands, they're seeing an average of 170 different ads every single day, but they happen to click one of your ads and go to your website. With all the options off there, do you think they're just going to buy the first time they visit your site? Probably not. But imagine if we have a pop-up form, which gives them an enticing offer and an engaging layout, and we're able to get their email address and stand out from competitors by educating them and inspiring them to take action about our brand. Because the truth is, if somebody doesn't buy on your website right away, that's okay. Because email is going to give us multiple chances to actually get them to buy. And unlike ads, email isn't limited by any sort of algorithm changes, and it's not at risk of Zuckerberg raising prices whenever he wants. Email is your own channel. You control the messaging, the timing, the segmenting, all the follow-up, and you don't got to worry about anything. So all right, enough with that. Let's get tactical. For setting up your email marketing, I don't recommend you use any other platform besides Klaviyo. I'm not paid to say this or anything. Klaviyo is just the best when it's specifically for e-commerce. Don't overthink this. You could look at all these other options, but at some point, if you reach a certain level of scale with your business, you're going to be switching to Klaviyo. So just start with Klaviyo now. Setting up Klaviyo is super easy. Literally just go to Klaviyo.com and all you have to do is enter your website, sign up for an account. If you're using Shopify, just add the Klaviyo app. Just like that, boom you got Klaviyo set up. So this is what Klaviyo looks like on the inside. I just have a dummy account here so you can see that there's no revenue coming in. But everything that you need to get your account set up, if you just go to home and then account alerts right here in the onboarding checklist, which it'll show for a new account, all you have to do is go through those steps. It's gonna have you set up a branded email. It's gonna have you set up all the requirements like DMARC, which is just like advanced stuff, but they walk you through it step by step. So I don't wanna waste too much time going through this because there are documents and everything inside your Klaviyo once you go to this home screen, it's gonna be there for you to complete. So once you have all those basics set up, we can actually creating some of our email infrastructure. Now there are a couple main aspects of email marketing that we need to cover. One of them is going to be your signup forms. So exactly how you get people onto your email list. We need to talk about our flows, which are gonna be the automated emails, which are gonna trigger after a customer does a specific action on your website, such as abandons a cart. And then we also have campaigns, which are the one-time emails that you're blasting out to the list, like a Memorial Day sale. So that's everything that we're gonna go over today. So if we start off here, we can see campaigns, which is, this is what houses the one-time emails that you're sending out to the list. And then you have flows right over here. So the automated emails, you have reviews. If you do reviews with Klaviyo, you have the signup forms right here. So think like pop-up forms to getting email addresses. There's just like growth strategies, so like information, but I don't really touch that. Then you have audience. So you have lists and segments, and then you have profiles. So profiles right here is what's going to be all of your email addresses that you've collected. Then lists and segments are just different ways for you to segment people. Then we have different forms of content, such as our templates images and brand. And of course we have analytics. Once you have numbers coming in, you can look at the different dashboards and metrics that Klaviyo has to offer. But we're just gonna start off with the bare minimum and we are going to talk about signup forms. This is the most important thing that you need to set up when you're starting off with email marketing is getting people to actually join your email list. So if we click on to signup forms right here, you can see that I have different templates right here inside this dummy account. So to create a new form, you need to make sure you're able to add forms to your website just like this. If you click on right here, it'll walk you through steps on making sure that that you have on-site tracking on your account, which allows you to be able to actually have your sign up. If you have Shopify, this should already be connected for you. But you have to make sure you have that and then we can actually create our forms right here. So Klaviyo gives us a ton of different templates that we can go off of for our different forms. 
They actually just added spin to wins. So if you want to do spin to wins, that's something that you can do. You can also have multiple steps to gather somebody's phone number or whatever you want. My favorite template is this one right here, just nice and simple, grow your email and SMS list. So if we go right here, we can name it test video. And then you're gonna put in the list that you want these people to join. So I do newsletter and then SMS subscribers, they're gonna join the SMS subscribers newsletter. Once we create form, it is just going to upload right into here and boom, this is our sign up form builder. We have the different steps up here. So we have the teaser, which is going to be this little box here, which you can adjust to different things, however you want. You could actually delete this if you want. And then you have the different steps like the email opt-in and then the SMS opt-in and then the success page right here. The first thing that I'm going to do though is start it off here on the left side. If you click into styles, you can adjust the pop-up such as the size of it, what sort of a form it is, whether it's full page or a fly out, something like that, or just like a plain pop-up like this. The different sizes, what sort of images you want. Maybe you don't want an image and you just want it to be this. Background color, background image, all this sort of stuff you can update. And then you can also do targeting and behavior right here, which is going to be, how is this form actually firing? So typically for forms, what I like to do is just do a time delay. So typically I like to do just like four seconds after somebody loads their page, we're gonna use this pop-up form. We don't wanna fire it instantly, because the person hasn't even seen any information about your website, but we don't want to wait 30 seconds because most people that are visiting your website are only going to be there for five to 10 seconds. So we want to make sure we're getting as many people as possible without firing that form instantly. So I like to just do four seconds, remove this scroll, remove the exit intent, because sometimes that can fire improperly. And right here, we have it at four seconds. And then right here, after visitor closes the form, don't show this form again after five days, display on both mobile and desktop. If you just want to make it mobile exclusive or desktop exclusive, then you can also do that. And then click outside form to close. You can cancel that. It essentially forces somebody to click this X button rather than clicking outside this form and it will close that form. So there's the display. You can change the targeting if you want. Automatically, it's just not gonna show to anybody who's already on your email list, but you could have it show to anybody, whatever you want here. You can also change if you only want the pop-up to show on certain parts of your page. But I'd just keep it simple just with what it already is. And now we can kind of adjust this form for what we want. We have a desktop form and then we have mobile right here. Ideally, I like to make separate forms for mobile and desktop. So in this instance right here, we're gonna have this form be our mobile form because that's what 80% of people are going to view. So I'm gonna change the targeting right here to just be mobile. So right here with this form, maybe I wanna make it a little bit taller, change the minimum height to something like a thousand, and then we can see it gets a lot bigger right here. Limited time, I could say, usually a wording that I see work best with uh, pop-up forms is you've got 10% off. So rather than saying take XYZ discount, if you say you've got, psychologically it feels like the customer already has that discount and by closing out, they lose that discount. So I probably do something like this, change the size to be a little bit bigger and then remove all other copy because any extra copy that you add is going to increase the likelihood that they close out of the form. So you could say you've got 10% off, you could change these buttons and make them bigger. Just play around with it and have some fun. This is a form that I typically like to do. I make this full page. We say take 10% off your first order or you've got 10% off your first order big button right here claim 10% off kind of advanced what I did is I made a button with a white background that says no thanks I'll pay it full price and so that person is forced to click that button and be like no I don't want this discount and then it goes to SMS and we say finish signing up for 10% off claim now or no thanks I'll pay it full price and then the success page just start shopping right here and that's my favorite layout but do whatever you want and test it out so that's a little bit on sign up forms and how you can grow your list you can just turn those live create a mobile version create a desktop version now you have people joining the list now we need to set up our email automations so a flow like the welcome flow, which is going to fire whenever somebody joins our email list. Somebody signs up for that pop-up form, what emails are we going to send them? We're going to want the welcome flow, and at minimum, we're going to also want the checkout abandon flow. If somebody goes to checkout and then leaves, we're going to want the cart abandon flow, and then maybe a post-purchase flow. There are all sorts of other more advanced flows that you can do, and I have other videos on my channel breaking those down, but for now, we're just going to start with kind of like those base ones that we want to get live. So to set up flows, all we want to do is go to flows right here, and then what you can do is you can create flow, and Clavio actually has a ton of different templates that you can use to start out or you can build your own. In this case, we can actually use one of those templates. So let's start off with the welcome flow 
for email and SMS. So I'd probably do something like this, like the welcome series standard. We can just do this for email and then have it trigger when somebody joins the newsletter list, which is what is connected to our pop-up form. Use template and then it is gonna fire this up for us so that we can create our emails. So right here, we can see the trigger is somebody joins the newsletter list right here. They have us sending an email right off the bat, thanks for signing up, waiting a couple days and then another email and then waiting four days and then doing a check out our best sellers. So this is what the flow builder looks like right here. What we have is this flow of events and then you have these different actions that you can add. So if I wanna add another email, I can slot this in right here and then set up another email just by clicking onto this and then selecting a template if I want to do one and choosing all my settings, email subject line, preview text, everything right there. So typically for the welcome series, what we want to do in this first email is remind them of the discount and give them a little bit of brand information. So here is like a designed welcome flow example. If you wanted to do like three emails, you could see welcome to this brand, take 10% off your order with welcome 10 and then a button. You could have a sub headline with some body copy and then list some best sellers right here in product category stories follow that up with a, our story email, just like this, um, breaking down the story, including pictures of the brand founders and some other images, and then like your brand mission statement, and don't forget to use this discount code because it's expiring soon, and then listing out some selling points right here. And you can see using those templates, how this could be done for an example brand right here, like this jewelry brand, just applying the branding, putting in the different images, you can see how professional and effective this is. So this is inside of Figma, which is a design tool for graphic design. And all that we do is we design these emails. And then if we wanted to bring these into Klaviyo, what we would do is use this slice feature and slice up our different parts of the email, making sure to not do too big image slices because that's gonna be super large size, usually about 500 in height right here, and then export as an image and then upload those sections back into Klaviyo. That's a bit advanced. We don't need to talk about that right now. If we go into Klaviyo, what we could do is we could just create plain emails just based off of the templates that Klaviyo gives us. So if we go into edit right here, we can see there's uh, different images and this is what the email builder looks like. You can insert images right here just by clicking replace, add like a branded picture or information about the brand. You can just edit copy right inside of here, inside of Klaviyo, edit the size and everything is right here. It's pretty straightforward, but you can add in anything you want inside of Klaviyo, like your buttons. You can change the sizes of all of them. You can even add product sections where it's actually pulling products from your store as long as you have it connected correctly. You have social media links right here. Everything is just listed out for you and then you can delete whatever you want kind of up here by deleting these sections. If you wanna have a look at what it looks like on mobile, then you have that right there then boom, you can adjust and create your emails, put your subject lines in here, like welcome to brand, whatever your brand is, and then preview text. Uh, is gonna be what shows up under the subject line with something like, we're so happy to have you. Here's your discount. And then the person has to open to receive their discount. And then we can wait however long we want. I typically like to do just one day, for example, just right here, one day to then hit them with the next message and then one day for the email after that. Klaviyo has a template right here. I usually like to do a brand story email as the next one here. So we can go in here and type up some information about the brand story, add any images that you want. And then for the last email, doing something like why we stand out and kind of a last chance on your discount. That's a super quick, easy and simple welcome flow that you can implement. Now the next flow we wanna talk about is something like the abandoned checkout flow. If somebody goes to checkout and then doesn't complete their purchase. Again, we can create a flow template inside of Klaviyo just by looking up the checkout abandon, or actually Klaviyo calls it a cart abandon. So we can go into the flows right here and browse by goal, prevent lost sales, and look at these different flows that they have set up. So we have abandoned cart reminders. We have two kind of like main ones right here. We have one that's added to cart trigger and then one that's an abandoned cart reminder. But if we click onto this, we can see that the trigger is checkout started. So Klaviyo actually has a big mistake here because this is actually abandoned checkout. So that's what I'm gonna name this and then we're gonna create this. But typically we're going to want, again, the welcome flow, the checkout abandon are the two main flows that we want. Then we also have cart abandon, browse abandon, if somebody views a product and then leaves. Then we want post purchase, once somebody buys a product, thanking them for their order. And then something like a win back flow, if somebody bought six months ago, reminding them to come back and buy from us. So that's the flow side of things. The last thing we kind of want to touch on is the campaigns, which the campaigns are the one-time emails that you're sending out to the list. So that's what the majority of these emails, which we see in my inbox are going to be, like this restock alert from this brand. This is something that's not going to be automated. This is something that's set in stone. So we have this as an example, free steak is back from ButcherBox right here. And we can see this is the email that 
they did. These are the sort of emails that come from campaigns. And so with campaigns, once we're in this tab, we can just create a campaign. We could say restock. We can have it an email, SMS, or whatever we want. We click continue, and then we have the audience. So this is where all of our lists and segments are going to come up. So we can see our lists, and then we can see our different segments. So typically, we just want to be sending emails to our engaged segments, which this is a segment which I can show you how to set up. It's essentially anybody who has opened our emails because we don't want to send emails to people who don't want to receive our emails. We just want to send them to engaged people. So I'm going to click engage 60 and you can see on this list, there are 2,300 people. So that's how many people we're going to be sending to. So we click on to next and then we have different templates that we can use. We have the subject line and the preview text. So let's say this was a restock and then I could say something like restock new favorites as the subject line and then preview text. These went fast last time, dot, dot, dot. And that could be the subject line and preview text. And now we could actually get to creating the email and designing it. We can go to email library right here if we wanted to use some of their templates and try to edit based on their templates. Or we could start from scratch just like this and go back into this email builder, which typically this works just fine. Just have a logo right here of your logo. And then you can drop in like a text box right here and then write whatever you want for the email. Then you can edit right in here and then you can also add your buttons. So say you write some copy, uh, maybe we wanna include an image right here. We write some copy on whatever we want and then shop now right here. And then once we're all set, we can go. Looks like it lost my subject line and preview text, but once we're all ready to go, I'll just fill this in right here. Then you click on next. You can see everything kind of summed up for you and then you can schedule your email or send it right here. And it's really just that simple. So to create those segments, all we wanna do is go to audience, list and segments. We can create our segments, the different parts of our list that we want to send to. And this is what the segment builder looks like this is where you can get all sorts of data about our customers. So I could create an engaged 60 days list right here. And what I would do is I would choose the conditions, what somebody has done, and then we choose the metric. So in this case, I want to do somebody has opened email at least once in the past 60 days. And if I create the segment, then it's going to start finding people in this segment and then it's just gonna show up right here. And you can even click right here and look at how many people have done that. You can see all these other segments that I have. So person's placed order in the past 36 hours. We can see people who have viewed a product, but they've placed no orders. Unengaged people, so people who have received at least five emails, but they've opened email zero times and they've clicked email zero times. People who have bounced in the past 10 days. All sorts of different stuff you can do with your segments. Typically the main segment that we're gonna wanna send to is the engaged 60 days. Now I wanna highlight a couple videos on my channel which will help answer a lot more of your questions if you have them. This is an eight hour free course going over like a lot of the strategy for Klaviyo and email marketing, which is a ton of value. And so I'd recommend that if you're kind of starting from nothing. If you wanna learn about all the email flows that I talked about and the strategy behind them and templates behind all the automations, then there's this video right here. If you wanna see me actually write emails and design them, here's a 47 minute video of me writing three emails for Gymshark and then designing them and then uploading them to Klaviyo for them to be sent. There's also email marketing segments. So the main segments, there's this video here. You get the point. If there's anything you're confused about, then there's tons of stuff right here. Literally everything that you need can be found for free on my channel. So that wraps it up with this video. Hope you got some value and let me know if you have any specific questions or anything that you can't find on my channel and I'll make any, make some videos on that. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.